this running away nonsense was what the Yoruba media concocted, some of them, with the help of Tinubu. You know why they did it? Because they know you are black and you are foolish. If they keep talking about running away, you forget the fact that the army came to my house with two attack helicopters, with two bombers, jets, with an entire battalion of soldiers to come and kill people. And I said to this, his name is Ibrahim Muhammad Tanko. And I said to him, before I proceed, let me just educate some people who are foolish enough to be regurgitating this nonsense all the time. He said, and uh, if you bail somebody and the person runs away, I'm a predicate for you later on. Let me just leave the merits uh, uh, of, the, of the attack on my house to one side because what he seems to be saying is that you can attack anybody and kill them or try to kill them outside the law and we'll still ask you to bring the person to court. Does that make any sense to the human being? Maybe it's Nigeria, of course. Idiocy is what makes sense. Let me ask um, Muhammad uh, Tanko and all Muslims in the zoo, including some in Yoruba media that peddle this all the time. Do you know the history or the story of Prophet Muhammad? May peace be upon him. Do you know his history? Do you know that Prophet Muhammad ran away when his life was in danger from Mecca to Medina? Are you aware of that? So, Prophet, the religion you're following, your prophet ran away. Your prophet ran away from Mecca to Medina. That you're a devout Muslim, so you claim, because you're a Sharia court um, judge or magistrate. But when directing it, he said, I'm actually in a very exalted company. The life of Moses was threatened in the palace of Pharaoh, and he fled Egypt to the land of the Canaanites. Before I will come to tell you what these people accomplished, let me reel out some of them for you. Jesus Christ, the mother took him on a flight to Egypt. George Washington fled from the British. Nelson Mandela before Nelson Mandela before came to Igbo land. If you don't know. To stay before he went back. You know one funny thing is that all these people have mentioned they all returned and claimed victory. And so shall I return as I tell as I'm keep telling you I will. I will return and I will claim victory. That's how it is. So when you think you are mocking yourselves, remember this very truth. That my path is following the paths of very great people that have gone before me. Now you understand it? So, if I ran away, as you claim I did, without referencing the fact that your so you sent your soldiers to come and kill me, it is now very clear there was a Nigerian state in conjunction or in collusion with the judiciary that asked them to kill me. I know. It's not very clear for all to see, isn't it? That is why he said he ran away. But of course, so did uh, your prophet Muhammad. So where does that place me? So when next somebody out of spite calls me a lord or their personal savior, you will understand. Because um, what happened to me was exactly what happened to all those great men. Now you understand it, don't you? Let's continue. When a defendant fails to appear for trial, such as in my case, the court does not automatically or summarily revoke the bail. Never. You will investigate the circumstances or else, or else, any time, let's say your brother owns a duplex in Abuja and I want to take it on the phone, I want to take it. I'll go to Bintan Yako and tell Bintan Yako, uh, please, we are going to arrest that man, please. Once we arrest him, we'll bring him to your court. In your terms, in your bail terms, I want you to say that you need somebody with a duplex in, in Asokoro. To shut him. Once you have delivered your judgment and his brother has come to take him on bail, we will then go and kill him or scare him away or go and do something very horrendous so that we will, will disappear him. And then we'll come back to your court and ask you to ask that his brother that took him on bail to either forfeit his house or go to prison. It's very simple. It's neat and very clean. 
You know how corrupt the zoo is. And they do it every day. Some of you don't know that. That's what this man is trying to say. So you don't investigate. What is the essence of having a law court if not to investigate the circumstances surrounding a case? You don't want to investigate. Because you don't like IPOB agitation led by my humble self. That is why. It's just level felony. When there is no part of your law that says I should not agitate. We've been asking them, show us in your law where it says that agitating for Biafra is a crime. They don't have it till today. I'm waiting for people to, to reconvene my case. Because they are, they are all Sharia people. They, what do they you know about common law? Nothing. Instead of you to hold the army responsible for coming to my house, a whole chief justice is campaigning, telling Abari Bay, because Abari Bay exposed him, of course, that he's dumb. And ordinarily, bail should not be given. That bail was given. We don't want to take your money or your house. There's sometimes to take your money and your house from a chief justice of a nation. So what you're saying, in essence, is that the army can go and kill whoever they want, DSS can do whatever they like. There is no protection under your law. That's what you're saying. And you're the Chief Justice of the Federation. Unbelievable. Nobody sends any shot to jail anywhere in the world. It is not done unless you investigate the circumstances first. Ask yourselves, why is it that Binta and Yako doesn't want to investigate the case of the army invasion of my house as argued by the lawyers of Abaribe? They can't do it because they don't even know how to apply that law. There is a procedure enacted by the laws of the zoo that which the court must follow. There is a rule, no? They are akaja. They are so-called rule governing the administration of justice. Is the akaja is the administration of criminal and uh, justice act, or whatever it's called. Akaja, they call it, which every useless lawyer must know. There is a procedure there in their own laws for forfeiting bail. Before you forfeit bail, the law says the same senator that Abari is sitting in, they made a law that said before you forfeit bail, there are some things you have to do. The question is, has Binta Yako's court done that? The answer is no. Because they know the court went under. Binta Yako knows that when she delves into that very case, our lawyers will call the army to come and testify before an open court. Also, well, that is why they don't want to bring them. Now you understand what is happening in the zoo and how useless they all are. This very process must be exhausted. Phase after phase, stage after stage. Because the section 179, subsection 1 of their own law states that, and I quote, when it is proved to the satisfaction of the court by which a recognizance has been taken or when the recognizance bond is for appearance before a court and it is proved to the satisfaction of the court that a recognizance has been forfeited, the court shall record the grounds of proof and may call on any person bound by the bond to pay the penalty thereof or to show cause why it should not be paid. After looking at the circumstances, you now reach the decision. The Binta Yeko jumped to this decision without going through her own the legal process in front of her. And she's a judge from Sharia. The same thing with this Tanko, a judge from Sharia. They don't know common law. They don't understand what common law means. Anybody reading this, even a layman, not listening to me now or later, can see from the process in their own agenda that you must first start with a written, not oral order. You must write a written order to show cause which must be served on the shorties. They have not done it in my body today. Because they can't. Once you serve that very order, our based lawyers will now respond, citing Operation Python Dance, the invasion of my house, and calling witnesses. That is what they don't want the world to see. To watch those videos of the invasion of my house and the death of my men. That is why they don't want to call the case. She will come to court. Hey, you must forfeit or you go to jail. We kept quiet. When the time came, I have to borrow a law. We are dear friends, we are learned. We gave her the law and say, Can you jump this loop? 
She said no. Instead, she had joined Sindai. You now you know how intelligent we are, don't you? Very, very intelligent, I tell you. Hope and their both is fine and not by the and you should. we're very intelligent so before we take the issue of the forfeiture the court must first dispose of the issue of the military oppression and its legal impacts on all affected parties in the other they don't want to discuss it you know, he, he, he ran away he, he, if he does somebody and uh, some corrupt Yoruba Islamic jihadi press will be right every blessed day so in your stupidity you forget that Prophet Muhammad ran away from Mecca to Medina. So Prophet Muhammad is a coward. Is it? Is Prophet Muhammad a coward? Is Moses of all people a coward? Is Jesus Christ a coward? If they are, then I'm the kind of is. Now you understand where we're heading, isn't it? The defendant in the case is my humble self. The, I'm talking about this because he alluded to it. The time now is approximately 13 minutes past the top of the hour, wherever you are. 13 minutes past the hour. It's a live program we're presenting to you. My humble self, my duty is to appear in court, yes. It is also my duty then to stay in my house and be killed. Is that my duty as well? By a gang of illiterate Fulani soldiers. They have declared me a terrorist, but uh, Fulani headsmen and bandits are being negotiated with. I don't blame them. I blame Nyawodo. I blame your so called Southeast governors, Devo Mahi, Obiano, Uguani, Ibaso. These are the culprits. These are the people that ask the Fulanese to come and kill me. To kill IPOB. These are the, these are the culprits in the country. I see some people inviting them to come to our Indian festival. Some idiots in Spain will get to people and will deal with you very decisively. I'm telling you that. Honestly. These are the men that planned for my execution. Niawodo wanted me dead. Ubahi the same. They called Fulanese to kill me. Today, the Fulanese are killing people. Instead of chastising them in public, Arewa Consultative Forum, Northern Elders are encouraging them, stay where you are and kill as many people as possible. And these are the people that some of you idiots call your leaders. Niawodo. And the governors. It can never be well with them, I assure you. It was the military that forced the situation on us. And on the court, in other words, the court must consider whether it is right for the Nigerian government to send the army to my house to kill me and my parents and my people for an offense before a court. Not determined yet. They did not want me to go to Ogoni. Ogoni elders invited me. They didn't want me to go to Ogoni. That's number one. Number two, they didn't, they didn't want me to take my men. To Abuja, because I tell them I'm coming there with two million men. They came to kill me. And some of you are clapping for them because they brought death to my house. One day, death shall befall the zoo. And it's coming here anyway. And if you see how sweet it is. People heard your villages and you're complaining. Only two or three headsmen come to your village and you're screaming. A battalion came to my house with the support of Nigerian Air Force to bomb my village. To the kingdom come. Now you're chatting rubbish and talking nonsense. Only a few headsmen came to your village and you're crying. An army came, a battle, not only but a, an entire division came to my house. Now you understand that we are stronger than you. Before the court turns its attention on the shorties, they must first of all reckon with the fact that they sent the army to come and kill me. That is what Tanko is not factoring in. Because the army coming to kill me is a technicality, which according to their Supreme Court should be ignored. If I'm not safe in my house, who is going to guarantee my safety on my road to Abuja? Who will give me the escort I need? The same army? The same police? Do you see how foolish black people are, especially Nigerians? You see how hopeless they are? You see how 
have run out of adjectives to qualify them. So you see why you're never equal to a white man. Because even at the height of their wickedness, a white man cannot be this cruel. The reason why God abandoned black people, Africans especially, is because of our wickedness. And as my wife will say, once you're wicked, you combine that with ignorance, then there is trouble. That's what's happening in Africa, especially in the zoo called Nigeria. And uh, only the African change that, of course. We must continue. There are a plethora of test cases. I'm not going to go into that because they don't understand. They don't understand even their own laws because it is very, very sad that people exist without reading. They don't read, they don't study, they know nothing. There are processes written in their own laws that says you just don't jail a shorty. It is written down in black and white. You must go through the process and ask yourself why why did this person not appear in court? You must solve that problem first. So if they had succeeded in killing me, what would happen? They will say I'm a terrorist. And some of you will buy it. Because you are black. You have no conscience. You are born wicked. And that is why you are in a hopeless, poverty-stricken situation in Africa. And being chased about in America like wild beasts because of your wickedness inside you. Oh, being a winny. But I thank Chukwokikabi and Elohim, the Lord of hosts, for IPOB. Because in the next 100 to 200 years, people will remember IPOB and say, indeed, they are the light of the world. We represent something unique, something exceptional. That some of you in time to come, your children, your great grandchildren will be asked, were your parents part of IPOB? If the answer is no, they will know that you are descended from a family of cowards. Go and mark my words.